Good morning everyone! Greetings from the Methodist International Church and I welcome you to our online Sunday School. Once again, this is Ray Oliver Fabros or King, your Methodist International Church family and children ministry worker. And it's exciting because we have this opportunity again to do our Sunday School via internet. And for those who are joining us today, you are very welcome wherever you are, even if you are outside Hong Kong or you are from Hong Kong. My friend Gideon is joining me again for another online Sunday School today. Can you say good morning to all of our viewers today, Gideon? Good morning! <laughs> and today, Gideon, I want to talk about things that you are afraid of. Are there things that you are afraid of? Of course, I am! Uh, let me think! <laughs> For me, when I was a kid, I was really afraid. Until now, actually. For those who do not know me, Gideon, I am afraid of chickens. Can you believe that? Huh? Really? <laughs> um, How about you? What are you afraid of? What? Thunder and loud sound. Hmm. You are afraid of thunder and loud, loud, loud sound, right? Yes, yes. Even me, when I was younger, I'm actually afraid of thunder, of a uh, typhoon. You know, in the Philippines, there's a lot of typhoon, and I'm afraid of that. And today. I believe that you are going to talk about a story when the disciples of Jesus Christ experienced a typhoon or a storm. Am I right? Yes! I will tell that story! <laughs> okay, so here's my friend Gideon and he will be telling the story today. Hi everyone! I will tell you the story today. One night, after a long day of preaching to the people, Jesus decided to get into a fishing boat with the disciples and go across the sea to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, Jesus and his friends got into the boat. Ah, uh, friends, I am really tired. I have to go to sleep. I'm going to the back of the boat and lay down. Please take care, okay? Yes, Jesus, we can handle this. Jesus had fallen asleep almost as soon as the boat left the shore. Maybe Jesus is very, very tired. He is so tired because the whole day he is preaching and He's talking to a lot of people. And so, Jesus sleep. Hmm. The disciples noticed the weather was changing. The wind is getting stronger. Oh my, that's so scary. The boat is beginning to move. The sea was tossing the boat around. You know what? <laughs> the disciples were very, very afraid. But Jesus is still sleeping. Oh! Oh! The wind is getting so strong. What will we do? You are right. We are afraid. I don't know what to do. Let us wake up Jesus. He's still sleeping. Oh! Oh, storms like these don't usually come at night. Yes, you are right. This is not the usual storm and it's so, so strong. Let's wake up Jesus now. Suddenly, they were in a terrible storm. The wind blew harder and harder. The waves grew higher and higher and the boat rocked and pitch in the waves! <gasps> oh, I'm so scared! Where is Jesus? Where is Jesus? 
Maybe he can do something. Jesus! Jesus! Where are you? Oh, Jesus is at the back of the boat. So much water is splashed into the boat. It looked as if it would sink. Oh! Jesus is still asleep. Maybe I should wake him up. Jesus! Jesus! Please wake up! The storm is so strong and we don't know what to do! What is happening? Oh, oh, I feel renewed. What is happening here? Jesus, the storm is so strong. We are going to drown. Okay, let me handle this. When Jesus sat up, he saw the dark clouds and lightning. He heard the thunder. He felt the boat rocking and he saw how afraid his disciples were. Jesus stood up and spoke to the wind and the waves. Oh, Jesus. Waves, be still. Winds, be still. And you know what? The winds and the waves stopped when Jesus said, be still. Why were you all so afraid, knowing that you are with me? And I will never ever leave you. And I will always protect you. And they were amazed. And that is the story when Jesus comes the storm. Thank you. is a better storyteller than King and uh, I would just would like to say thank you for joining us today and can you just say thank you for those who listen to your story thank you <laughs> bye goodbye Gideon we've just heard about the story when Jesus calmed the storm and in our lives no matter how young you are or no matter what age you are in especially for our children, there are times that we are afraid. We have fear of, uh, maybe for me when I was young and until now, I'm afraid of chickens. Uh, you are afraid of being, getting scolded by your parents. You are afraid to get low grades. You are afraid that you have no food to eat. There's a lot of things that we are afraid of in our lives but this story has just reminded us that no matter how strong the storm is and as if we are riding on a boat like the disciples and it is moving because of the wind and the waves and we feel like Jesus doesn't care about us and we feel like God is not there it has just reminded us that if we have Jesus, if we have God in our life, 
The storms will come, surely they will come, but there is one assurance that the Lord will never ever leave us. May we always remember that Jesus is the Son of God, the Creator of the universe. And that is enough assurance that He can calm even the strongest storms in our lives. We can count on Him to calm the storms. And me, I already tested Jesus in 20 plus years of my existence here on earth. When a fear seems to hold us, we can call to Jesus through prayers and know that He is with us. And he hear us, just like what he did when the disciples were very afraid and don't know what to do. And now it's time for our art attack. <laughs> for our art attack, I've decided that we can just make and design our own boat today as a reminder of this very special moment when the disciples were very afraid of the storm. And so I will teach you how to do an origami of this very simple boat and then later on we will decorate it according to what style we want it to be and we can put some waves later on just to modify this boat. For our materials for today's art, arts and crafts, we will be needing simple materials like I have here blank paper for this matter, I would like to use a bigger one so that my boat is bigger. So it's up to you, whatever paper available at your home. So this one. And I prepared smaller band papers, white papers that I can decorate later on. And this we will use for the waves. We have colored pens. So you can use Crayola or uh, any kind of crayons. And then scissors. Please be careful with your scissors, okay? And glue. So first, I will teach you how to do the boat. So first, for our paper, we have to divide it into two. So first, for our paper, we have to divide it into two. Crosswise. fold and then now we have to divide it into another half and then open it and then here we will just fold it like this and another side and then we have this triangle shape. The next one is here at the bottom part. We will just fold it like this. And then on the other side, fold it like this. And here you go. It's like a hat. And then from the center, we'll just open it and then there you go you have a square paper see and now we will divide it again from here there and then on the other side there and we have a smaller triangle and then we'll just open it open and there you go, a diamond one, and then there you go, your boat. So here's the boat. And I'll be using this big boat. The next thing that we will do is just to decorate it with different colors of markers. So it's up to you what decoration you want to do. So for this one, I want to make it a little more colorful. It doesn't matter if you want to put flowers on it. can actually put your name on it king and just decorate with some leaves and 
Yes, there you go. I want to put more, more decoration. <clears throat> There you go. Next thing we will do with the blank paper is we will put some waves. So now I will just draw waves, very simple waves. There you go. And I would like to color these waves with blue. This will represent the waves that the disciples were so afraid of. And then, we will cut this using our scissors. Please be careful in cutting. You might cut your hands. You don't want that to happen. And there you go. And get your boat. And put these waves. using our glue and so here's our boat to remind us of that event when Jesus calmed the storm you can also decorate it like this. Thank you for joining us for another online Sunday school this week. And I hope that you have learned and you are reminded how Jesus cares for you. That even if we are afraid, God will always be there for us. Shall we all pray? Shall we just close our eyes, fold our, our hands, bow our heads and pray to God? Lord, we praise you and thank you for another opportunity to just come together through this online Sunday school. Lord, all of us have our own fears, but thank you for reminding us that you are there and you care for us. I pray, Lord God, that you will remove all our anxieties, all our fears when the storms of lives come into our way. Strengthen us, protect us, and comfort us especially this time of coronavirus, oh God. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining us, and I hope that you have a lovely weekday coming ahead. Please be safe, and always remember that Jesus loves you, and God cares for you. Goodbye, everyone, and see you next week.